surfing started in Hawaii and was practiced only by the Hawaiian kings. It developed as a sport that could be practiced by anyone and then spread around the world and new waves were discovered. The boards were first made of wood with a single fin on the end of the board. Then the fiberglass boards with only one fin were made. Then new fin technologies were discovered and now most of the boards have three fins or more. Nowadays, the boards are made of every type of fiber like carbon fiber, epoxy, glass, basically anything that floats. Through the years, different people have taken the sport to a new level, doing new tricks and riding better weights. This part caught my attention because a friend of mine and also my cousin surfed and had pictures, videos and magazines. After I saw that, I thought I should practice it, or at least try it, and see if I could progress in it. There are many people that I admire and that are key in the sport, but the best of the best is Kelly Slater. He was born in Cocoa Beach, Florida and has won the World Championship Tour 9 times. Now he's going for the 10th. He gets wave rated 10 out of 10. Another person that I admire is Quicksilver surf team rider Jimmy Rotherham. He was born in Libertad de Salvador and although he does not compete because he is simply the best of the best regionally. He got a perfect 10 on the final heat of the Latin American Pro at Punta Roca. He is the one that stands out the, of the crowd at the point. To practice the sport successfully, you have to have certain equipment including a board, board wax, a traction pad, and a leash that attaches to your board so you don't lose it if you fall. To learn, you need a long board because it's easier to stand on it. Then you can reduce the size of the, of the board and do new moves. The board prices vary on the material it's made. Boards made of sponge are very cheap and boards made of carbon fiber are very expensive. The kind of fiber used can affect the performance in your surfing. A type of fiber can also influence the, sp the speed that you have while riding. There is no a specific dress for the sport. You can wear whatever you want or what else, whatever feels comfortable to you. I wear a board short and a rush guard. The rush guard is only to protect me from the sun. I would suggest that you use sunblock to protect your skin. Some people use reef booties to protect their feet when surfing on a spot that is known for having sharp rocks. The most important equipment on surfing are waves. Good waves. If you try to learn how to surf on a, on a wave that is not good enough, either you won't learn how to surf accordingly or in the future we'll, you will not to be able to ride good waves. To practice this sport, you have to know how to swim and be in shape to do lots of exercise. Also, to ride a wave, you have to have a good balance and be ready to go when the wave comes. You have to know your limits like know your limits according to the sea and wave conditions. If you cannot, if you can ha have an accident or if the sea conditions are too harsh for you, you can either drown or not be able to swim out. There are different stages on the sport. First, you have to learn how to stand on the board. This does not include going into the water. Then you have to learn the properties of a good wave and to how to catch one. How to catch a wave and stand up at the right time, that's a basic thing that you have to learn. Afterwards in the water, you should learn how to catch a wave and stand up at the right time and how to ride it. Then you have to decide if you want to do tricks or just ride a wave. After this, it's only practice, practice and more practice. That will lead to perfection. The sport is a sport that people on the third age practice because once you start it, you cannot stop because it's such an adrenaline rush. The skills you need to practice this sport are balance and being a good swimmer. You can practice balance on a skateboard, snowboard, wakeboard, balance board, etc. This helps you a lot to progress. All the parts of the body are used in surfing. After you have, pra you have practiced it, you feel like your whole body has been exercised. Success in surfing is not something that has to happen. People do it for fun because they like it no matter how, they, how good are they. You progress in surfing depending on your vision of, suce of success. For most people, it's reducing the size of the board 
so that they can be able to make cuts, arrows, barrels, and radical movement.